Jackson Rope Shop and it is a full park day. We are here for early park entry and we are really excited. I did already secure a lightning lane for Splash Mountain, which I was just planning on being down. So that's why I grabbed that one first. And then also I grabbed Seven Dwarfs Fine Train. It was $10 today, so it wasn't too bad. We just went through our second scan-in for early park entry and it definitely thins out. They're letting kind of everybody in to take their pictures, do whatever they need to do. But unless you are a guest on property, you can't come all the way through. We're gonna cut through back on the wishing well. I wish I could have gone left instead of gone right. I'm going through Adventureland, but I can't really do that because they have everything wrapped up. So we're gonna cut through behind the castle and it's so pretty back here. And everything's been redone for the 50th, so it's just shiny and pretty and the colors are amazing. So we went ahead and finished Peter Pan. That was about a 15 minute wait. It said it was a posted 60. This is posted at 15. This looks a little longer than 15. I'm really trying hard to keep the rides closer together today because today's kind of a marathon. So this is not the normal strategy I would pick. But as we were running over to Frontierland, it wasn't gonna happen. It was we were it was better for us to get on Peter Pan because it was just too far for us to run over there and then to wait. I'd rather keep the momentum. Peter Pan was right there. It said it was a 60 minute wait time. By me seeing the queue, it was not 60. It's still posted at 60. We waited 15 and I would say it's less than a 10 minute wait now. So we're gonna go jump on Hanan and get this one knocked out. Like I said, that it's posted 15, but this looks either right at 15 or just a hair longer. Betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination?
All right, so we are done with Hana Mansion. We are in Power Hour. So we are going to head over to Pirates now. I got some wait times for you. Barnstormers, five minutes. Dumbo, five. Mad Tea, five. Magic Carpets, five. Under the Sea, five. All those are kind of five. We have some Princesses still at five. Haunted Mansions at 15, which that was less than 10 minutes. We have It's Small World, 15. Buzz, 20. Pirates, 20. They're really good at over projecting. Jungle Cruise is at 35. Pooh's 35. Astro, 40. Peter Pan's oh, down to 40, which means it's really low. Space 45 slash 145, seven door 60. And Big Thunder Mountain is still down. I had the idea, because we have a lightning lane coming up, to go ahead and jump over and they were wanting it like a snack and a drink already. So let's go sit by Big Thunder, but which means that it's gonna be harder for us to get a lightning lane because it's been down. So then, they're gonna back them up a little bit with everybody that's missing out on their lightning lanes. I still bet by like 11 o'clock or so, they'll start pushing them out again. So I'm not too worried about that one. But we're gonna jump on Pirates here. It's about a 20 minute wait time. I still think that is pretty low. It's higher than I like to do, but I don't think it's gonna be the full 20 minutes just based on all of the wait times that they're putting out right now. And they're all over the place. They've changed a couple times today. I think just because of the rides down and everything is fluctuating, people shifting areas of the ride so it changes a little bit more. This is a really good attraction. I do really like it. I go on this every time I'm here. And if we get another lightning lane for it, I'm happy to ride it again. seven minute wait they were loading on both sides which is great because sometimes early in the morning they don't load on both sides so they're doing that today which means it's gonna be a little busier and they were on it love it so we have a lightning lane for slash mountain it is back up and going big thunder mountain is still down so it is a good thing we did pirates and we stopped and grabbed a drink went to the bathrooms before and who knows how many more times we're gonna be able to ride this ride I don't prefer to ride this ride so early in the day. I'd prefer to do it at night, but it's good to get it out of the way now. Well, it's not super crazy. The heat is starting. We're gonna go ahead and ride Splash. As soon as we scan into the touch points, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a new lightning lane. We'll see what we can find. So change of plans. Thank God for my husband. He is sitting and watching the app today. That's part of his job. He's a very good Disney dad. He saw that Big Thunder Mountain Railroad just came back up. So we are still climbing inside. I bet you it will be about five to seven minutes. It just opened back up. We still have our lightning lanes, but that is just getting ready to start. But we got really, really, really lucky. This is a big one. I would have rather rope drop this, but they were having problems and it was closed off, so it's perfect.
I would say just under five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and use our line email for splash. And then as soon as I scan into both touch points, now I'll be able to go pick up a new lightning lane. Is there another touch point? No, there is not. Thank you. How about Pooh 1105? I think that's a good one. All right, you guys can probably see here on the screen of what I'm looking at. So I was able to find some lightning lanes. There are still quite a bit available, which tells me that not a lot of them are getting picked up yet. I saw that there was a jungle cruise for later tonight, which is mainly what I want to do because essentially the parks aren't gonna be as busy. Thank you. The parks aren't as busy yet because it's still a little early. So what I'm trying to do is to pack them for later at night unless I can get them soon. So I was able to get a one to poop. We, I'm either gonna pick them up for close and soon or for later tonight. Winnie the Pooh tends to back up, so I went ahead and grabbed that one, and that's something that my mom will be able to like too. him because he's a friend but I just want one of the stuffies so bad because they're so oh they're so cuddly and soft I just want one so bad but my husband tells me no 
So then I go buy a new pair of ears. We got under the sea with Little Mermaid. So we're gonna head there now since we are still in fantasy lands. We just have to go behind Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And then we'll sit in more air conditioning. So I did go ahead and request that we don't get the Rose Room. That's not my favorite to get. So from just the pictures that I've seen, so I would like to have either the ballroom or the West Wing. got the like charcuterie board it's like a meat and cheese tray and then I got the fridge right here too Blakely's already devouring her fruit and cheese and Brody got applesauce my mom got the soup as well how's the bread it's good I feel like the soup is very iconic so like if you come here there's not too many people that don't get a fridge soup good flavor very salty but it's very good Guys, this cheese pole is legit. It is so cheesy. Girl from the Midwest loves her cheese. It is very good. It is just like a little salty. I'm gonna try my mom's fish first. I love white fish. Anything kind of like, like these. It looks very good. It was fancier. It's very good. Very light. Has a nice flavor to it. Let me try the rock shrimp. That's a winner. Very, very good. The steak is wonderful. Great flavor. Really light. I like my steak medium rare. It is definitely medium rare. We're all loving it. Came with a mushroom on top. It's delicious. This is, I think, what the kids are most excited about. I'm sure you guys have all seen this before, but it's white chocolate and it's chip, which my daughter was chip for Halloween last year. And we were on a Disney cruise and it was amazing. But they got gray stuff, they got, I think it's like a little truffle on macaroon, and then they can paint chip with a little brush and then it's all edible chocolate. And then ours, we got like a little dessert flight and it all looks delicious.
that was really good. I'm happy that we did it, but it is a large cost. We got to see the beast at least three times, which pre-COVID, he was only available at night. It is worth it. it. The food, even my husband said, we've eaten a lot of places on property. It is best food by far we have ever had on property. Everything was top notch. It reminded us a lot of the cruises. If you guys have ever been on a Disney cruise, the quality of service and food and experience that you get, it's very, very similar to that. You're gonna get more of a show as far as the characters on the cruises, but it was wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here with the castle behind us. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is a wonderful day here, July in Disney with all of the people. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps grow our channel. And also please hit that subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. But once again, my name is Jeannie and just wanted to meet you and have a great rest of your day. Bye.